Hello Elucidat users and welcome to this level 2 video on Layout Designer. In this video I'm going to show you how you can create a page from scratch using Layout Designer, so how you can start from a blank slate and build up the elements of the page exactly as you wish. So I'm going to open up my project in Elucidat now. And here you can see I'm in my project in author mode. I want to add a new empty layout and start generating my page. So to do that I can come up to the add new page button here and select to add a new page as you would with any of the out of the box page types. I'll give my page a name and then I'll simply select a page type and this is where you'd normally choose one of the out of the box interactions but I'm actually going to scroll down here to this option here start from scratch. So that's available to anyone with layout designer access. If you can't see it, you might just need to speak to an administrator about getting access to this feature. So I'm going to select that and simply add a new page. So here you can see I've been brought in to the layout designer view. And you can tell because um, we've got the layout designer button activated up here. I've got a video on this page because it's an empty page that shows me how to use Layout Designer if I need a recap. But if not, I can simply roll over this orange bar where it says add here and simply start adding elements. So selecting that will bring up the list of the different elements available within Layout Designer. These are all grouped into different um, sort of recognizable groupings, things like interactions, which you'll recognize from the out-of-the-box page types. And then other things such as media and imagery, different text elements, questions, buttons and icons, and specially designed layout elements. So I'm just going to open that up to start creating my layouts. And these are the elements that are designed to help you really um, structure your layouts quite effectively. So we have things like page sections that allow you to group things together in sections, or columns that allow you to uh, sort of um, create structured layouts um, of different elements at different widths. I'm going to add a two column layout in to begin with. I'm going to add a 50 50 layout. And there you can see I've now got my two column layout with space to add elements in each column. And what I might do here is add a video on the left. And then I might add a question on the right. So this will be a new page layout that I've created of a video with a question alongside it. I'm going to simply select a text answer question, a single choice. And it's worth exploring all the elements available within Layout Designer so you can decide what will work best for you. I can introduce other elements here if I want to add a title at the top of the page, for example, a bit of a subtitle and some instruction text. I could add that here. So I've gone in to add text elements. Maybe I'll add an additional bit of intro text. And I can obviously move things around on the page if I decide I want to change the layout. For example, I can bring this title into this intro text box to group it all together. And I can use um, variations, which is this sort of tool icon on the right hand side of any element in Layout Designer to configure how things display. So on this column layout I can control the width, make my video bigger and my question smaller for example, or I can control on the text box the text alignment so I can centre that on the page. So there's a lot you can do in Layout Designer alone to adjust parts of the layout and obviously once you're happy with it, you can then save it and go back into author mode um, and add your content to the elements you've um, constructed. And really there's um, no end of possibilities with the amount of things you can add to the page and the different ways um, you can construct your layouts. And we'll be looking at some of these things a bit more in some of our level 3 videos. So I'm going to save that now. And there's quite a few different save options available within Layout Designer and they were discussed in a previous video in this um, level two um, topic. So please revisit that video if you'd like to find out a bit more about the different save options available. I'm just gonna save for this page and this project and save that. 
And then I can obviously come in and start editing my content as I wish. Finally, we've got a few top tips for using Layout Designer to create new pages. Firstly, use layout options like columns and separators to design pages exactly as you need. So structuring the page using those columns, for example. Secondly, apply different variations to customise the appearance of some of your layout elements. And different elements in Layout Designer have different variation options, so it's worth exploring as you add things what's available under there. And thirdly, be careful when saving your layout and make sure the correct settings are selected. And if you want to know more about the different save options, you can revisit our previous video on editing a page using Layout Designer to find out all the different options available. Thank you for watching this video and you can move on for the next topic in our Level 2 series.